Hello everyone, it's time for another video and today is a really exciting one. It's gonna be my April TBR and my Owl Readathon TBR. So basically, G from the Book Roast is hosting a month long readathon that's called the Owl Readathon. She put so much work into it and it just looks so exciting and so much fun. I'm gonna have all the videos that explain everything down below and I'm gonna just try to quickly explain it myself a little bit just so you know what it actually is in case you haven't heard of it. So OWLs, if you didn't know, are like the exams in Harry Potter that take place in April. We pick a career that we want to do and we need to do certain subjects for the career. Each subject has a specific prompt and challenge for a book to read and then you can pick some like trainings that are like additional. That's I think basically like the super short summary of it. Let's jump right into it. So the career that I ended up picking is a culinary sorcerer and <laughs> I was originally going to go with librarian, but then I thought I felt like librarian was a little bit too much in my comfort zone and it was a really obvious choice. And so I decided to go with something a bit more unique, a little bit more magical, and so I decided to pick culinary sorcerer because the thought of just making magical food, it was really fun and cool and exciting and yes. <laughs> so the thing that I want to do is I want to focus on the subjects for my career, obviously. Then I have some training that I would like to do, but I think I will overall just try to do all the challenges because I just feel like all of them are so fun and so exciting and it's a whole month and I'm gonna be home, I'm not gonna have much to do and so I'm definitely gonna be reading a lot and I just thought it would be fun to try to do everything. So no more rambling, let's get to the subjects. The first subject that I need to do for my career is Earthmancy. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, so this is to read something opposite your favorite genre. I, for a lot of the prompts, I have more than one book. Not because I'm gonna necessarily get to all of them, but because I'm definitely a mood reader and I just want a lot of options. And also, I just thought it would be great to share a lot of books if you want to participate. So it's kind of like recommendations and options for you possibly as well. So yes, so for, for this, I have two options. The thing that is not necessarily opposite my favorite genre, but definitely a genre that I don't really go for is sci-fi and for that I have Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. I don't know anything about this book besides the fact that it's sci-fi and I love Ashley Poston so as always I'm gonna have all the books linked down below so that you can read more about them and check them out on Goodreads if you want. My second option is The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow and this is kind of like sci-fi and dystopia at the same time and it's also queer and I saw some really great reviews and it's a book that I really, really want to read. The only issue with this one is I feel like it wasn't available as an ebook when I looked it up, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it, but dystopia is even more out of my comfort zone. It's a genre that makes me extremely uncomfortable and I really don't like it, so I feel like it's perfect for this as well. The next subject is charms. So for charms, it is to read a book with a white cover and I have multiple options, but the one that I picked for this specific one is Restore Me by Tahir Mathi. You probably know Shatter Me, um, so I'm not gonna get into what it is, but um, I've had this for a long time <laughs> and I still haven't read it. And you know, in case you didn't know, Shatter Me was originally gonna be a trilogy and then they decided to add three more books. And so this is the first one out of the three additional books. And I kind of do want to catch up on the series. Like I understand the people that don't really want to read it, but I just like the thought of knowing where the characters go next. The next subject is Herbology, for which the prompt is to read a book with a title that starts with an M. This was extremely difficult and I was just like, holy shit, but I managed to find a book and that is Marriage Unarranged. I'm sorry, I forgot the name of the author, but it's up on the screen. This book is just a fun rom-com and yeah, I have been really definitely in the mood for rom-coms. With everything that's happening, I just want something chill and super fun and so this book is perfect for that. Also, if you have any more suggestions of 
books that you like that start with an M, please tell me in the comments down below. And the last subject for my career is potions, for which it's like the shrinking potion, and so it's to read a book under 150 pages. And for that, I picked Talk Sweetly to Me by Courtney Milan, which is a historical romance book, and it's available on Scribd, and it's like 140 pages, and I have read multiple no novellas by Courtney Milan now, and I love them so much, and it made me want to like explore m novellas in general. So again, please, if you have any novella recommendations, tell me in the comments down below. Courtney Milan is amazing. That's all I know about this book, and that's all I need to know, so... Yes. Now, to the training. I really loved the thought of merpeople linguistics, but the subject for that is herbology, which is already the one for my career, so I'm definitely gonna do this one. So, it, yeah, maybe I could try to read two books if I'm feeling, you know, extra. But again, I don't really know any other books that start with them, so we'll see. And the other training that I would like to do is Legal Defense of Fantastic Beasts. This is definitely not something that I would actually do do if I were the same person I am in this life <laughs> but I thought it was fun and cool and so the subject for that is care of magical creatures and the prompt is to read a book that has a creature with a beak on the cover and I have two options for this so the first one is the raven boys by Maggie Stiefwater you have probably heard of this, it's one of the most popular Y series on booktube and just in general and most people have read this, I still have not. I've had it for at least two years and for some reason I still haven't gotten to it and <laughs> I think I want to read it. Hopefully I might finally get to it this month and yes. The newest release by Maggie Stiefwater called Down the Hawk, if I remember correctly. I'm feeling really drawn to that book, even though I don't know anything about it. I just have a feeling that I <laughs> might really love it, and I just have, like, thought about it, and I looked at it, and I was like, I want it, but I think I can't read it without reading The Raven Boys. If you know if I, like, can or can't, please tell me in the comments down below. But even if I could, I still feel like I should at least read the first book in The Raven Boys to just see and give it a chance. It got kind of mixed reviews, I feel like some people love it, some people hate it, some people have like a love-hate relationship with it, so I just kind of want to see what I think. The other option is a book that I definitely will read next month. I wanted to read it this month, but I don't think I'm going to be able to read it today and tomorrow, so that is Crescent City by Sarah G. Mass. Here is the creature <laughs> with a beak, and... Yeah, I, again, this is a book that has been talked about a lot. It's Sarah J. Mass. I think I'm going to love it because I'm just on the camp of people that love Sarah J. Mass's writing. I love her characters. I really, really want to read it. So, even though it's super long, I think I'm going to fly through it. So, this is definitely one that I will be reading now. <laughs> I'm going to talk about all the other remaining challenges. Uh, again, I'm not sure if I'll get to all of them, but it's great, you know, so that maybe if you want to participate, I want to have options for every single pr prompt. So, the next subject is Ancient Runes, which is to, which is like a heart rune, and so it is to read a book that has heart either in the title or on the cover, or both, and for that, <laughs> my choice for that is, it couldn't be more perfect for this whole prompt, and that is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. It's about the Queen of Hearts. It's It has a heart. It, it's called Heartless. You know, it's perfect. Um, I only know that this is basically the origin story of the Queen of Hearts. I'm not like the biggest Alice in Wonderland fan, and I don't like Queen of Hearts. And I actually started reading it. I read like the first chapter and Catherine, the Queen of Hearts, she is such a sweet person at the beginning and she's just a total cinnamon roll and she just wants to be a baker and I am not ready for this. Like, it's gonna be so heartbreaking and I already care about the character even though I just read one freaking chapter and it was a long time ago and I'm just like, I don't know how I'll survive but I think I should read the book and it also could count for like the white cover so... Hopefully I'll read it. <laughs> the next subject is Defense Against the Dark Arts, and for that it is to read a book set at the sea. I have three options for this. <laughs> so the first one is Sea Witch by Sarah Henning, and I just kind of bought this randomly in New York when I was there on vacation last year, and I just saw it and I liked the, t the cover, and 
I don't know much about it. I don't know if it's like about the um, sea witch from um, The Little Mermaid or, you know, but it's called Sea Witch, <laughs> so it sounds like it could fit for a Harry Potter readathon. The next one is To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. This one is such a cool cover, and I feel like this is a bit of a, like a darker sea story, which isn't really my vibe. I don't love dark stories, but I hope it's not scary. <laughs> I have a really cute bookmark in this. Oh my god, I did not remember that I started this. That is so cute! <laughs> okay, so I would also like to get to this. And the last option is All the Stars and Teeth by Adeline Grace. This book has been talked about quite a lot. It's a debut and it's a mermaid story and it has pirates and stuff. And I have the audiobook of this and I really would like to get to some audiobooks. The next subject is History of Magic, which is to read a book that has witches in them. For this, I'm not actually sure if there are witches in this book, but it is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I'm just like, it's called Sorcery of Thorns. So I think it has definitely like sorcerers, which I honestly don't know. I don't remember the difference between a sorcerer and a witch, but hopefully it counts. <laughs> and I really want to read this book. It's been on my TBR before and I've had it for a while now and I just keep talking about it and I never read it. So I really, really hope I'm going to get to this. The next subject is Transfiguration, which is to read a book with shape-shifting in it. I did not really know what to pick for this. I feel like there's shape-shifting in so many books, but I just could not come up with anything, so... But the one that I ended up picking is Wolf Song, and again, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of the author, but I know that this is a werewolf story, and it has male-male romance in it and its own voices, and it got some really great re reviews, and I'm like, werewolves kind of shape-shift, right? And so, yeah, I hope this works, and um, I think it could be really fun, so I would really like to read this as well. Then, we have Astronomy, for which is to read a book mostly in the dark, like when it's dark outside, and for that I have three options. So, the first one is A Lesson in Thorns by Sierra Simone. This book has a polyamorous relationship in it, and it's just kind of gothic and I just felt like that whole vibe fit really really nicely with like the dark hours and uh, again it's a book that I've been meaning to get to for ages. The next option is a book called Medusa A Love Story by Sasha Summers and this is a book that I randomly ran into and I think I have a really good feeling about it and I didn't like I haven't seen anyone actually who read it like talk about it but it's basically, you know, it's pretty obvious. It's just Greek mythology. It's this love story of Medusa. I thought that was super cool and I want to read the sequel for a video and even though I don't think I would have to read it to be able to read the sequel, which is about Hades, um, I just wanted to read this because it looked cool and again, I just feel like it would be a nice story to read while it's dark outside. And the third option is A Phoenix First Must Burn by Patrice Caldwell. So you might have heard of this, quite a lot of people talked about it. It is just an anthology about black girl magic written by black uh, female authors and non-binary authors. And it's just, I feel like it would be super nice to read a few of the stories every evening when it's dark outside. Kind of almost like a bedtime story, you know? Cause I think since it's an anthology, I don't want to fly through the whole thing and read everything at once and I just thought that it would be really, really nice to do that. So I really, really want to do that. So yes. <laughs> the next subject is divination, for which is basically to pick a few books that you want to read, assign each of them a number, and then let a number generator decide your fate and which book you should read. And for that, I don't know where I put the book. Oh yeah. For that, it ended up being Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adeyemi, which finally, it's a freaking sign that I should get to this book. Because <laughs> I bought it in December, back when it came out, and I absolutely adored Children of Blood and Bone. And I just have been procrastinating on this because the reviews and the ratings weren't really that great. But Chloe from Books with Chloe actually read it in one of her vlogs, 
and I'm gonna have her channel link down below because this is random but she is absolutely amazing I binge watched so many of her videos and I loved her so much <laughs> so she actually read this and she really really enjoyed it and she was like I don't understand why more people aren't talking about it so I was like I should freaking read it and then it happened to be to like win this whole thing so I was like I need to freaking read this. And finally, the last subject is Muggle Studies, for which is to read a contemporary. And for this, I have two options, but I might honestly end up reading something completely different because there are so many, you know, contemporary books. <laughs> the first option is Always Never Yours by Emily Wiverly and Austin Sigmund Bruca. And you might have heard of this. I feel like the their books are quite popular. And I actually read this um, maybe like two years ago and I adored it. And I remember absolutely nothing about it. And so I want to reread it because I would like to read the two other books the authors have written, even though I don't have to read this before those. I just kind of, you know, want to go chronologically since I don't remember anything about this. So maybe I will get to this one. And the other option is Tweet Cute, for which I, again, forgot the name of the authors. I'm sorry, I should have written it down, but... <sighs> and <laughs> this is another one that I had the audiobook of and um, it got some really great reviews and the only thing I know about it, I think there's like a Twitter battle that's a part of it and I just liked the thought of like social media and like it just has quite a modern feel and I think it could be really cute <laughs> and so I would really like to get to this one and finally we made it to the end. <laughs> I am so excited for this. I would definitely like to document reading some of these books during the month of April with you, so definitely subscribe and stay tuned for that. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yes, definitely again, check out G's channel. I'm just so freaking excited. And yes, so that's gonna be it for this video. Have a great day and I'm gonna see you soon. Bye!